Why aren't you involved? We actually bounced the mortgage at Christmas. Because you're not on the same page as me. But anyway, I couldn't give a crap. This house is eating us alive. Stop stressing me out. I, I can't do it all myself anymore. What's going on? There could be a possible split. It's taking you to a divorce lawyer. That's where it's taking you. Money, money, money. My name is Leslie, and I'm an executive assistant. My name's Jurgen, and uh, I'm a carpenter. I uh, frame out houses. Leslie and I have a son together. He's four and a half. His name's Ethan. Actually, Jurgen and I are common law. We're not even legally married. We bought a house together to be closer to work. The house is old. We expected some problems. I said to Jurgen, you know, this house is eating us alive. We're borrowing off a line of credit just to get the mortgage paid. Our debt is kind of overwhelming for me. Not including the mortgage, our debt would probably be close to $40,000. All I know is what my wife says, right? And my wife says that is pretty bad. Makes me feel sick. Sick to my stomach, actually. It's hard for me to open the bills. I don't have a problem with money. I'm happy with so much less than my wife is. I have a pack of smokes, please. Yep. Getting me near a mall is deadly. I cannot come out of the mall without anything in my hand. That's probably my biggest addiction. I've been smoking for a long time, and it's pretty easy to figure that $300 at the end of the month could be definitely applied to something else. My beverage intake is pretty close to that as well. My greatest fear is that we're gonna have to sell the house and lose everything. I handle all the finances in the house. Jurgen doesn't even know how to turn the computer on. She has all the anxiety and I am snoring. I'm tired too at the end of the day. I, I can't do it all myself anymore. Yeah, I'm fed up. But if you had done it in the first place when Ash did yeah, do but it, if you it got the fact that there is no money, you know, that's probably the biggest argument. Stop stressing me out. When we fight, we fight really badly. And the uh, last fight that we had was in front of Ethan. So that jeopardizes everything in our relationship. My biggest fear is uh, there could be a possible split. You know, some days I can see myself living with Jurgen for the rest of my life, and other days I just want to walk out the door. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks, and it's the number one reason couples split up. So now I'm making house calls. Leslie and Jurgen are polar opposites when it comes to money. They use credit to pay credit, and they're just steps away from total disaster. It's time to get their house in order, and I'm bringing them the financial blueprints. Hi, Gail Voss Oxley. Nice to meet you. Hi, Gail. Come on in. OK, your stuff isn't fancy. I see Ethan has his own little chair. This is Ethan's room, right? And you have some water damage in here? Yes, when we bought the house. And here we come to the missing stairs. The foundation was leaking, so Jurgen dug up the whole side of the house. I've had no front steps for about a year. Probably ended up costing a couple thousand dollars. And this is your room. This is a tiny house. What have you been spending all your money on? I don't know. Oh, I believe you. She doesn't know. <laughs> so how much debt do you think this family is in, Jurgen? Um, 25. So if I told you it's actually $70,000? What? Where have you been shopping? No way. Why aren't you involved? See, I have a problem with uh, the computer, right? So when it's easier to pass it off on Leslie, that's when it becomes convenient that you are a computer illiterate. Right. How much do you spend on cigarettes every month? Uh, at least $300. OK. Like a little bit of beer, too? Yes, most yeah. definitely. Can you actually afford to be smoking and drinking? I realize that it's a great deal of money. And you really worry about this? Yes. Ultimately, then, the question becomes, how badly do you want this to work? I, th I think we're compatible, and I think that we have a future together. And, and this Leslie? is why. I'm not sure I know the answer to that question. If he were not Ethan's father, would you have dumped him and gone on? 
possibly. Does it surprise you to hear her say that? Um, you just totally blindsided me, right? Everything is just changed for me. Well, this is what happens and, when you close your and, eyes and, and stick but, your head yeah, in the sand. Now I know sit? where I stand, yeah. right? And it, where do you stand? I'm standing in a big bucket of shit right now, right? Really? You aren't watching each other's backs. You're actually eroding each other. Not exactly the foundation for a healthy relationship. No. All right. <laughs> you ready? You're actually $76,000 in debt. What you left off the list was the debt you consolidated to the mortgage. And a lot of people do this. And then they call it housing cost. But you didn't spend it on housing. That figure went so high. This isn't the way I anticipated home ownership or marriage to, to go. If you have a credit card and you're only making a minimum payment of $40, but your interest is costing you $41, you will pay it off? Never. You've been burying yourself in interest costs, paying almost $600 a month just in interest. That's unbelievable. <clears throat> okay, despite being up to your eyeballs in debt, you have no problem spending money. Tell me what you're spending $900 a month for Ethan. I could not tell you. No, the fact that you don't know is probably the most telling thing here. Yeah. $1,261 a month on home renovations. How's that? I have no idea. Now, look at what you're spending on shopping. That's you. Yeah, that's me. Because Jorgen doesn't shop. No. And then here are your self-indulgences. Not 164 doesn't even no, I, come I, close I... because look at what you're spending in cash every month. Almost $1,800 every month. That's a lot of money. Your spending is delusional, but I want you to know that's not the only delusional thing going on here. You think you're netting $8,000 a month on average. You're actually only bringing in about $6,000 a month on average. So you don't even know how much money you make. Well, Leslie doesn't know how much money you make. You're actually overspending on average every month by $7,000. What? That's totally insane. And if you keep it up, you'll be one and a quarter million dollars in debt in five years. <clears throat> Unless you promise you will do what I ask. Yes. OK, over the next few weeks, I'm going to give you a series of challenges to do. If you do the challenges to my satisfaction, I'll give you up to $5,000 to help you pay down the debt. If you don't do the challenges, you don't get the money. We're going to balance your budget. We're going to get you spending consciously and we're gonna finally dig you out of this hole. I need you to give me your credit cards and your debit cards, and there's gonna be no more willy-nilly spending. I don't know what you're Coming up, about. Leslie and you're gonna need to brush up on their communication skills. Well, of course I'm on the same page as you. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. How much debt do you think this family is in? 25. Close to $40,000. You're actually $76,000 in debt. Leslie and Jurgen are in even deeper than either of them thought. Thanks to Leslie's obsessive shopping, tell me what you're spending $900 a month for Ethan. I could not tell you. No. And Jurgen's financial apathy. I couldn't give a crap. I think if Jurgen and I don't get our finances in order, we may split up. Time for a change. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars to pay down their debt. No changes, no money. You're the guy that's handy with a nail and a hammer, right? Crucify those suckers. One slap is all we need. It's a nice piece of artwork. Mm -hmm. For now, you have no more credit. You were spending about $6,200 a month on your variable expenses and cutting that by 80%. You will have $1,600 a month and this is how it'll play out. You will have $150 a week for food and personal care. $131.25 for transportation. You'll have $25 a week for entertainment. $12.50 for clothing and gifts. You're not shopping. doing any shopping. No shopping. And you will have $87.50 for other, but what's also in here is your kids' budget. You will have $150 a month for Ethan compared to over $900 you were spending. Whatever he needs has to come out of that $150 a month. 
Okay. You've already been spending a lot of money in cash. The problem is you don't know where it's going. You have to write it down. And so we have the handy dandy budget binder. This is like the low tech system. Don't even need to turn on the computer to do Perfect. this. I'll okay. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me to your first challenge. You have to find a way to make a minimum of $7,500 a month consistently as an income to make this budget work. Because you have so much debt. Right. The second part of the challenge involves the money pit, the house. There are things that you have to do in this house. Figure out all the things that need to be done, put a time frame on them, and then show me how you're going to come up with the money to pay for them, because they're not in your budget. It'll be good. You'll have yeah, to talk to yeah. each other. Yeah. Working together with Jürgen is going to be probably a challenge in itself. We tend to argue a lot. Of course, Leslie has a, a big wish list. I'm trying to bring down her expectations a little bit. It's been a really rough week. It's been pretty stressful not having the money when you want it. But if you hadn't done it in the first place when I asked you to yeah, do but it, if you wouldn't it wouldn't have cost me that at all. If you didn't get all freaking paranoid, you're just keeping me around until the deck is done. <laughs> As well as finding extra money for home repairs, Leslie and Jürgen are going to have to generate an extra $1,500 a month in income to pay off their debt in a reasonable amount of time. If you came up with some extra carpentry work, that would be really good. On a weekend, I can knock off $500 worth of work. A cabana has to be made. A deck has to be made. Well, one of my ideas was to get a part-time job. What about no. you getting a part-time job? What, what, what do you think me making a cabana on the side is? On the other hand, well, you know, what are, what are we doing it for, right? So we're debt free. Yeah. Then you can leave me. Oh my God. This conversation is not happening. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Because you're not on the same page as me. But anyway, well, of course I'm on the same page as you. Getting a headache. It was pretty emotional there. I was starting to question my relationship with Leslie. You made a plan for fixing up the house? We started, yes, okay. we did. So all in all, how much is it going to cost? About $1,225. OK. And where are you going to come up with the twelve fifty? Well, we're going to have a garage sale. Excellent. And uh, Jurgen actually got a contract with the neighbor for grass cutting for the summer. Right. And I've applied for four different part-time jobs, working evenings. So now we're talking about backfilling the budget. There will be other side work for me. It will be coming up very soon. Okay. So. so this is good. The important thing to remember is you have to be able to maintain it because it's what you need just to make your budget work. Right. right. Okay, good. So you want to know what your challenge is this week? This challenge is all about swapping bad habits for good ones. So we already know what your bad habits are. I'm going to send you to an acupuncturist to help you with the smoking. Thank oh, God. Your bad habit, my love, is you've actually been using Ethan as your excuse to shop. You're going to move from a reactive or impulse shopper to a proactive and planned shopper, OK? So what you're going to do is you're going to go home, and you're going to figure out what Ethan needs this summer. And then you're going to go shopping and take care of his summer budget. How is the relationship going? Not good. No? Stressed. Stressed. You guys came together and did something beautiful together when you made Ethan. And it would be a real shame if you guys can't get by your resentment to focus on what's really important. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, she used the Ethan. I, the waterworks were starting, right? So she hit me where it hurt. You're about to cry. What's up? Nothing. This is something you actually want. Yeah. Money, 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 money. Why don't we save enough money so that you can hire somebody else to do it? Leslie and Jurgen have over seventy-five thousand dollars in debt, and now their common-law marriage is on the rocks. The last fight that we had was in front of Ethan, so that jeopardizes everything in our relationship. When we do fight about money, she's the one that's always worrying about it. Meanwhile, their debt continues to spiral out of control. If you keep it up, you'll be one and a quarter million dollars in debt in five years. That's insane. I've created some challenges to help them get their finances and their relationship back on track. If they can accomplish them all, I'll give them up to $5,000 to pay down their debt. This week's challenges are all about losing bad habits. First, I'm sending Jürgen for acupuncture to help him get rid of his 25-year dependency on cigarettes. What made you decide to quit smoking now? I can't afford to smoke anymore. 
You okay there? Yeah. I'm willing to try anything. You know, I'm also thinking about my son and wouldn't mind kicking the ball around with him without an oxygen tank. We're gonna figure out what you need for the summer, okay? Okay. Meanwhile, Leslie has to stop impulse spending for their son, Ethan, and shop with a plan. So maybe we need some more shorts, right? Put those over there. Hi, are you Leslie? Yes. I have some Gale meal for you. Oh, you do? Leslie, find a way to cut $30 from your current planned spending, and you'll make major points with me. So now I'm down to $120 for Ethan for the month. So that's cutting my budget a lot. Four t-shirts. Shopping with the plan for Ethan was actually good. It made me actually think before I went out and bought stuff. I think I managed really well with the amount that she gave me. And I realized actually that I really don't need to spend that kind of money on Ethan. It's been better this week. There's no money to fight about. <laughs> <laughs> You went ahead and you made a plan yeah. for Ethan, and you went shopping. Then you got to the counter and found out you couldn't spend so much money. Right. <laughs> that was a shock. <laughs> did you get the lesson? I did. OK. okay. <laughs> How is the smoking, or the not smoking, should I say? Today, I've, um, I've had two. So how's the drinking? Non-existent. OK. I take it you took to heart what I said last week about Ethan, making him the center of what you want to do. Of course. Yeah. And so has that made part of this easier? Like, you, you are more relaxed. Well... Did you get some last night? Is that what you yeah, said? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Now the whole world there knows. There we go. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, that's better. OK, which brings us to your relationship rescue challenge. I want you to build together a small chest. Into the chest, you have to put vows that you're going to make to each other. You also have to find something that represents how you feel about your partner and put that in the chest as well and be able to tell me why you're about to cry. What's up? <laughs> no, something's up. Let it go. Tell me what's going on. Look, I have T-shirt ready. <laughs> no, Gail it's a good on. idea. <laughs> I'm so glad you approved. <laughs> this is something just, you actually yeah. want. Yeah. One thing I've really wanted to do to sort of seal the commitment between Jurgen and I is get married. I don't know if he knows how much that would mean to me. Money, 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 money. Leslie and Jurgen have been living way beyond their means. You're actually overspending on average every month by $7,000. What? My greatest fear is that we're going to have to sell the house and just lose everything. But over the past few weeks, they've been taking their debt more seriously and starting to give up their bad spending habits. Now it's time to find out if they can actually accomplish something together. For this final challenge, Leslie and Jurgen have to work together to build a hope chest to hold significant objects and written vows, which represent their new commitment to each other. Making the box with Jurgen, I think it proved that we can work well together if we sort of have more patience for each other. First and foremost, I promise to be less argumentative. I vow to communicate. I love you because so. we can laugh together and at each other. I love you when These are things that come straight from the heart, so got a little emotional. It's not often that we <laughs> communicate it in that, that way. Oh, very nice. OK, so who decided on this? It would be me. And you chose this because? Because Jurgen needs to be my rock. Look at that. And this is what she is to you. Yeah. You are his gem. Yeah. His pearl, yeah. If you can keep communicating, you can have just about anything you want. I think our relationship has been affected in a positive way. We've learned to communicate better together. I did not hold out a lot of hope for you people. I figured I was here, and I'm gone. And I'm sure not only you, but I think a lot of people in my family didn't hold out hope for us. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Here comes the good news. 
Well, we start with some bad news, okay? Uh, so when I got here, you were spending $7,000 a month more than you made and heading to $1.25 million worth of debt. Yuck. <sighs> Probably more significant was the fact that you people couldn't even stand to be in the same room with each other. And you seem to be standing a lot closer together now than you were before. Because you've learned some things. You've learned to live within your means, making more money, and you're spending consciously now. If you stick to my plan and you repay the $1,600 I allocated in your budget to debt repayment, you will be consumer debt free in two years. Oh, wow. You've done all the challenges. You're demonstrating to me a whole different couple. So you get this. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and you know what? There's something else I have for you because God knows you need all the help you can get. A romantic weekend away oh. for the two Thank of you. Thank you. Oh my God. Have a fabulous day. Right. Thanks awesome. a lot, Gail. We're working towards a common goal now. We're talking about the future. Yeah, I think the dreams are a little more attainable now. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. <laughs> Money, 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 money.